I really don't know what Christmas is all about. What is up you guys and welcome to Christmas with a K. That's me. And it is Vlogmas Day 18. It's Vlogmas Day 18. Oh wow. So basically I'm dressed in this day coming to you guys now. I just want to kind of explain what today's Vlogmas video is going to be. So it's not necessarily a vlog. It's actually a combination of two videos that I've planned to upload separately from each other and they kind of didn't work out exactly how I wanted them but I think going together they'll like fit each other perfectly you know create some content for you guys so anyways all that to say right now I'm actually getting ready to go hang out with my boyfriend today I'm about to sit down and do my makeup but instead of you guys seeing me do my makeup you guys are actually going to watch a clip of me filming a tutorial on my basic everyday makeup routine as well as a combination of how I got this setup that's in the background. I never uploaded my inexpensive YouTube setup video that I wanted to upload because I edited it and for some reason the footage only came out to be like four minutes. But it does kind of explain where everything is from so I'm gonna go ahead and include that with it. But like I said the video of me filming is on that backdrop and I want you guys to know how I got it so I'll put that there. About the tutorial it did kind of cut off towards the end. I believe it cut off when I was blending in my concealer but I do want to actually do a video sitting down and explaining to you guys what I use my favorites my holy grails all of that so I'll do a separate video explaining all that but I just wanted you guys to see the background how I got it and how it runs and works in action so that's how I combined the two so you guys actually won't see any more of me current day me in this video but I just wanted to come on here and explain to you guys exactly what's happening if you guys know the rules about the giveaway go ahead and check out some other vlogs to make sure that you know how to enter and that's pretty much it so hope you guys enjoy and i will see you guys in tomorrow's vlogmas where you will actually see me in these all right so what is up you guys let's not talk about it welcome back to my channel i'm super excited i'm finally decorating my youtube backdrop First of all, I never really had a YouTube backdrop. Yeah, when I got to college, I'm already spending all this money on decor. Why not invest in a backdrop? But that's exactly what I'm doing today. I wish I would have filmed me earlier in the week when I actually ordered it. When I actually ordered everything, but you know, I kind of forgot. And I ordered. I bought everything off of Amazon. We're super inexpensive, but y'all are probably like, where are you gonna do this setup at? Like, you have no room. Girl, I already got it planned out. Okay. Okay, at this point, hold up. Shut the fuck up. Great intro, Kira. We have to tear off this wallpaper. I was gonna try and keep it and put it somewhere, but like, really, what am I gonna do with it? All right, so right now I'm actually getting ready to post up the wallpaper that I ordered. I'll get into more detail about it later on into the video and it'll also be in the description. But it was kind of a struggle to get this up and get it even as you guys will see. It's not very even at all. I had to cut around the nooks and hooks that are on my wall. But it was pretty simple for the most part. With editing, I made that look so much easier than it was. So let me tell you, it was a struggle. It shouldn't have, but it did. We're not gonna get into that. But we're moving on. <laughs> so this is the next day. I know. Great transition, Kira. What do you say damn for? <laughs> no, I don't. Get off of me. These are so... 
smaller than I thought. Look how tiny they are. And last but not least, we have this and this. Then you open the box and voila. Bitch, is a thumbtack gonna be able to hold this up? Cause it's kinda heavy. Bitch, if I say cut, you gonna cut. Now cut, bitch. All right, y'all, so basically I thought I had explained everything a lot better than what I did, but I'm going to just give you guys a rundown of what where everything is from, how much I spent, da 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 yada, yada, yada. So as you guys can see right now, I'm actually just measuring out where to put the picture frames. I know it's uneven. Please don't clock me. But the wallpaper that I got was from amazon it was actually 35 dollars super inexpensive definitely worth the purchase and it's restickable wallpaper so it's great for if you're like renting a place and things of that nature it's perfect for that actually and the picture frames were also from amazon i can't find them i will try and link them link them down below but i think i spent like no more than five dollars on each frame the flower pots and the little greenery that is inside of it is also from Amazon. Everything here is from Amazon. Let's just say that. Um, and everything was super inexpensive. I'll link it all down below. Basically, I just cleaned my wall, pasted the wallpaper onto the wall, as you guys saw. Then used thumbtacks to hang every single thing else up. And that's pretty much it. It looks so nice. I love the way it came out. I haven't had the picture frames in my videos yet because there's no pictures in them yet but i really love the way that turned out but yeah that's pretty much it so let's get into the makeup portion all right you guys so we're just going to be going ahead and hopping right into this look so the first thing that i'm going to use is by elf please do not sleep on elf ladies and gentlemen because it works so well i love their like, skincare lines chef's kiss super inexpensive extremely inexpensive if you're just getting into like skincare definitely try out elf i have very oily skin and i find that this stuff does moisturize my skin very well without under compensating for the oils this actually came in a bundle set with a daily moisturizer a eye cream a hydrating balm all this other stuff i can't even remember but i swear by every single thing that was in it <laughs> i know i can't remember them but i love each and every product they work so well it doesn't take a lot as you guys saw my skin is freshly clean i think i'm gonna do a skincare routine at least like sometime soon or sometime in the future it's definitely gonna be one coming am i centered i'm always like off <laughs> But moving on, the next product that I'm going to use is the Illuminating Eye Cream. Love this. I actually ran out of the first one that came in the little bundle set and ended up repurchasing it. And it is so amazing. These products, first of all, smell so good. I keep all of these items refrigerated in my skincare fridge, which I will link down below. But it also doesn't take a lot of this either. I put this on every time I wash my face, under my eyes, and on my eyes, usually kind of like in this area just like that i've actually been swearing by this product for a while now if you go back to some of my older videos like even before i came out to college i've been like obsessed with these stuff and swearing by it so definitely think that you should get your hands on it it's literally just elf like elf elf is making these bomb products like what what i also do it on my smile lines fun fact you guys i'm actually filming this like blindly i'm using my back facing camera on my filming phone yeah, and I have a mirror, but it's like really far down and y'all know I'm blind and so I'm sorry if I go out of focus if I'm like not centered Anyways, this isn't supposed to be talk through. This is just supposed to be me showing you my routine So let's actually get into the makeup. I actually haven't done my makeup in a few days 
like a week. It's been like a week or a week and a half. Always, baby. Moisturized lips. Doesn't have to be anything special. You can get dollar lip glosses from the beauty supply store, your local beauty supply. Keep your lips moisturized and hydrated, babies. Now we can move on. So the first step in my makeup routine, let me get myself situated. Okay, my first step in my makeup routine is always my brows. It's always been what I started off with. It's the very first like makeup thing that I learned how to do. And it's what I've been building off on since. So, and this was like in like fifth, fourth or fifth grade. Um, and I'm obviously in college now. I'm a freshman in college now. So it's been something that I've, it's definitely evolved over time, but it's always been something that's like my go-to makeup. If I only had one thing to do, it would be my brows. But what I've been using recently, I guess I've just been swearing by e.l.f. My e.l.f. brow pencil. This is the instant lift brow pencil. I've been loving the more natural look for a while. I didn't even fill in my brows at all. I just concealed them and went. Now I do add a little bit of something to it using this and I love it. Even if the pencil goes dull, it's not as sharpenable, but it definitely is like a swell up. It's pretty thick, but I'll show you what I do to like manipulate and use product. And it also comes with a spoolie. I lost the cap, but y'all get it. So not me using another. I swear I'm not sponsored by e.l.f. I swear. <laughs> I just have this elf mirror. First, of course, just gonna brush my brow hairs. Now, I haven't done my brows in a minute as far as like grooming them. So, um, they do look a little ratchet. I will do probably like a in-depth brow routine, but I just like to brush my brow hairs up. As I say, they are a little crazy, so they're a little longer than usual. Also, I have this really weird bite or pimple on my face. Don't know where it came from, but it is so ugly. Sorry, you have to see that. I'm just gonna go ahead and start slinging my brows with this pencil. It's deep brown. Now that we've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and conceal them using my, I swear to you guys, I did not do this on purpose, but obviously I'm, I didn't even realize how much I was, but obviously I'm really feeling e.l.f. these days because golly, I'm about to use the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in the shade Deep Caramel. I'm gonna take some of this on my something different, a Morphe brush. This is the M124 brush. I'm just gonna take a little bit of concealer on the back and and use this to carve out the shape of my brows. I can tell you what Christmas is all about. Super quick and easy. Simple. And of course, we're gonna do the same to the other brow. Jack Frost nipping at your and we are also gonna use the same concealer to conceal the top. Alright, so I'm not really loving my brows today. It's definitely a shape that I've never really gone for before but we're gonna go with it because this bump on the end of my brow is making it kind of difficult anyways to do anything different so as long as it's decent we go and keep it moving i'm gonna take my aoa studios e103 brush i'm gonna use this to softly blend that concealer out now obviously i used a lighter concealer on my brows i do this on purpose to make them stand out even though i've been filling in my brows a lot more natural recently i feel like using a lighter concealer will just add such um such it'll using a brighter concealer will create like a using a brighter concealer will create an illusion to make the brows stand out a lot more which is something that i've been loving since using the natural brow technique so i'm not gonna it's not gonna blend out all the way of course but you want to softly start to blend that so it's not so hard once we get deeper into the makeup routine and we start trying to blend it with other products sorry Sorry guys if I'm looking down this is where my mirror is this is the only thing that I can look at other than this so I really do apologize moving on we're gonna get started on the face so the first two products that I use on my face are my primers I swear by these as you can see both of them are almost empty and I use them in combination going hand in hand to work as my base now the note pore Blum primer with this water burst Ciate London primer is literally everything the note problem obviously conceals the pores and then this adds a little bit of hydration because this does it doesn't dry out your skin it definitely is more on the on the more hydrating side but using them together just creates like a better effect if that makes sense so i'm gonna take a little pump of each product onto each side of my face don't tell me it's like so and then i'm gonna blend it in and instantly you guys will feel what i'm talking about it is 
so silky like i can't even explain to you i never until i use the no pore balm the consistency definitely comes from the no pore balm and i can't even explain to you how luxurious it feels on the skin this primer don't remember how much it was i believe i got it for like 18 dollars from sephora but it's literally heaven i've never felt a primer like this or anything i don't think like this and it's so good and that water burst just does what it needs to on the skin to amplify the no pore balm and make it just that much more radiant which even though i have oily skin i will tell you guys in a test that these work hand in hand and do not again undercompensate for the oils and they don't like make me look greasy or oily at the end but also i I don't really like a completely matte face it looks flat to me and really cakey and just not the best looking I used to be a huge fan of it but now I'm not and I love that I found these primers because they do exactly what I need them to do without making me look like a greasy mess by the end of the night so I mean you don't have to listen to me but I promise you it is worth the purchase if anything get the no problem and be satisfied and it's amazing like hands down moving on we're gonna go into the foundation now I love mixing stuff of course and today I'm gonna be mixing my Fenty Beauty with my Maybelline Fit Me matte and poreless love these two together now you guys are probably like you're counteracting what she just did with the primer because these are both two pretty matte products you guys just have to see how it sits on the skin how it stays how it lasts you have to try it personally but it's so amazing first of all the consistency of these two mixed together is heaven sent beautiful beautiful finish swear by it this by itself does it is completely it's like a soft matte like it's not like a typical matte but it definitely looks a little too dry for what I've been loving personally recently. So mixing these two together, this one isn't as matte. I think it has a great balance on top of the primer that I've been using, that combination, heavenly. I am going to grab this foundation brush. It's so run down. This is the Real Techniques brush. And I'm gonna take my Fenty. I'm gonna take my Fenty and do a little pump on each side of the face. And then on the brush, I'm gonna take a little bit of the foundation on there. Also, these shades are a little different. Let me give you the shade names. This one is 360 Mocha and the Fenty, I believe is 420. And this is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Long Wear Foundation. Yeah, so I'm just gonna start to mix them together. I also really liked the color, the coverage of the two and I'm starting by like kind of swiping but tapping at the same time sorry again that I'm looking down and then I'll start to drag it down don't forget that neck nobody is clocking us no sir not the gang not the gang <laughs> and once this starts to melt into the skin it's beautiful it's been said. and i do like the tiniest bit product on my forehead i don't like to have too much up there and then the nose y'all probably like is she gonna take her glasses off at any point <laughs> eventually i'll get around to it i need to get contacts that's what i need to do stop playing tap that in once that's pretty much dry i'm gonna go ahead and grab my sonia kashuk sponge i love this sponge it is humongous and works heavenly i've never actually used the trademarked beauty blender like the original never have I ever purchased it never have I used it but all of these sponges I use like the lower end ones low, <laughs> lower end ones and I can definitely attest I don't know how they work in comparison to that but they work decently well not even decently well they work pretty well for me I can definitely say that these sponges are worth a try I've also tried like the Juno and Co sponges the velvet ones for a while I don't know if you guys have ever like realized or ever paid attention to it but a while back I think Nikki Tutorials was like one of the first people that I saw using the velvet sponge and they used to be a dollar literally a dollar a piece now they're they're not expensive at all now I think that they're like six or eight dollars a piece but they genuinely used to be a dollar a piece because before like they got the attention and once they got it it was like uh-uh this is worth a little bit more baby give me some of that give me some of that coin 
<laughs> so they got it but it's definitely worth the purchase it's definitely not overpriced now it's definitely still a, a great price if you haven't tried it and you've been looking to try it and my recommendation is what you were waiting for go ahead and get it baby because i have my own and i did a giveaway on a few of them um they're definitely worth the purchase and i definitely think that you should give them a try let me make sure this camera is still recording them intermission okay we're good all right moving on to the next step in my routine obviously we're going to be going into concealer so again i swear by a combination for my concealer this combination is the born this way concealer in the shade maple and then i also go back into that concealer that i use under my brows the 16 hour camo concealer in deep caramel mix these two together amazing so this is my holy grail makeup product like even if i'm not wearing foundation i will go for this concealer because it's that good and it'll it's good to where people will think that you have on foundation like look at that coverage come on now can't beat that love this concealer it doesn't crease it's super comfortable i don't think this concealer got all the hype that it really needed i don't think that it got all the hype that it deserved because this concealer is everything and I don't know what actually struck me to go ahead and buy it, but I bought it, baby. And I'm so glad I did because this is literally my holy grail makeup product. I definitely use a lot of products. I'm not ashamed of it. I've always been like a heavy concealer. But I mean, if you like my makeup looks, that's how I got it. So don't judge me if you like my pictures, okay? And that's the tea, but moving on. So I put a little bit of that on and now we're going to go into our next concealer, the 16 hour camo elf concealer in deep caramel. And I'm going to tap just a little bit in my inner corners where we really want to brighten it up. And this concealer for the price i think it's like six bucks has amazing coverage like up there with these high-end concealers 100 percent and shape tape really isn't for me i've had my shape tape used it like once or twice to give it a chance and it's literally sitting down here on my cart in the box still like i don't use it and i don't reach for it at all i don't really like it that much but these two especially the elf if you're looking for an inexpensive option definitely reach for that elf one amazing the 60 hour one but i'm gonna take my sunny cash sponge and i'm gonna go ahead and start laying out my concealer i'm gonna keep my sponge right under my eye like right in that corner where i put that brighter concealer so i don't really want to drag that color out too much i want that brightness to stay in the center of my face and then you can start to blend it out. Blends like a charm, so beautiful. Sits beautifully on top of the other products that we have put on our face and just, wow, like amazing. Oh, I, I'm obsessed with my makeup routine. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? Mm, look at that, oh, true beauty. Oh, as you can see, I'm kind of pinching my sponge. It's already pretty, I mean, it's a pretty big sponge, but just pinch it just to really get in those nooks. People often times forget to lift their nose and get in there, and it'll look pretty bad if you don't blend in there. I'm guilty of it sometimes as well, um, but just make sure that you're getting in there too. Every part of the face. All right, you guys, so I just finished filming my everyday makeup routine, right? Tell me why I get up to stop the video but the video was already stopped for me baby the video stopped when i was blending out my concealer my fucking concealer you know how far back in my makeup routine that was and i didn't know i didn't get i didn't hear a sound that's what i get for using my back facing camera literally did this whole face and probably won't even be able to use the video it depends on how i feel and i did so well in the video like the way that i was talking like i was able to actually articulate and speak and of course this is the video that flops I mean, it didn't flop, but it just stopped recording. And I was just talking, having fun, chilling, you know, chatting with y'all. And of course, the camera stopped. So I'm upset, very upset. The gag is I literally had just gotten up to make sure that the camera was recording and it was still going. And I was like, ooh, be good. Came back to sit down. I came and checked on it right after I finished blending my foundation. I put on my concealer. I put on the second concealer, start blending it out. Camera stops recording. I had no clue of it whatsoever. So kind of, kind of salty. I'm so mad. So mad. So mad. So mad. 